That's cool. That's uh, it is cool. In fact, that's what makes Chase so ace, right? Like, um, well, that rhymes. Um, but ultimately he understands the agency. So his role at that agency was really operations, if you think about it, right? Like taking the tools and really making them work. So he understands when he's saying something, he's not like me, like just making it up as he goes along. Like he really lived that role um, and understands it really well, which is why I, I try to get him on these calls as much as possible so people can get, you know, useful answers instead of just whatever comes to my brain. Yeah. Um, that's cool. Uh, and I know that, uh, so it, like, I would love to see more of like, you know, so you just did like the import from Active Campaign, yeah. which, all of that onboarding friction, there oh, seems yeah. to be a bit of focus there. So <clears throat> reduction of onboarding friction is a, is a focus or it seems to be. Oh, absolutely. So, I mean, yeah. again, it's it's sort of that like the chicken and the egg, right? You need the feature first. Well, yeah. first is we need the, so <laughs> it, our, our things like, we, we always say like, sell them what they want and then give them what they need. So it's like, first yeah. make every free feature an agency can ever like dream up. So you yeah. can get them to get over the fact that we have the thing that they think is so important, even though it's not. Um, get So we can get them in the door and then we can show them all the other awesome, amazing things that we have. And then they'll adopt that. And then they'll figure out, oh wait, you, I can do this for my clients. That's, oh, that's amazing. So it's like this, this multi-step motion, right? But within the actual, uh, so then when you get all the way down to that, like, oh wait, I'm gonna bring my clients in. Then you hit like the, oh crap, they're using MailChimp or Active Campaign. How do I, how do I do that easily, right? So that's where, you know, that's where we're finally getting to that point where we can start doing that. And so you're seeing in the email builder team because they're already out there out front, um, yeah. but you'll see this other places as well. And this is what's awesome at this level, having a rockstar team. I don't run any of the products. There are independent product managers who have a very right. succinct mission, get higher adoption on your feature. And yeah, so right. they're talking to their customers they're looking at the usage stats. They're looking at what people are saying about the releases that we do and they're taking notes and they're looking at the, or more importantly, they're looking at the ideas list and they're looking at what ideas people are posting up and they're knocking it out. And every quarter, like right now, this week is really fun for me. It's like, it's sort of like pre-Christmas. They're coming to me and saying, listen, for Christmas in Q4, we're going to, uh, you know, we're going to make these presents. We're gonna make these toys. What do you think? And I'm like, <laughs> wow, that's amazing. You know, yeah. <laughs> And then, th- then at the end of the quarter, they they pop into existence and it's like, woohoo! So that's, yeah. but it's great because it's all driven off of them and their work. And the email team is, as you can see, already on the adoption curve, but you'll see it in other teams as well. Yeah. Uh, do we have time for one more? I was just sure, fuck say, yeah, um, let's do one more for sure. So it just in terms of like um, prioritization of what makes it in, um, just if you can give us a little bit of like how the rationale or, you know, like, cause I know that there's ideas still, boards and that's stuff. Like, that's the biggest softball question ever. Um, yeah. You know, we don't get up every day thinking we know what the heck we're doing. We, we get up, up every day at remembering who we serve and what we're here to do. And so we, we, we actually just talk to our customers and the biggest, you know, we're, we're of size now where, well, and this actually happened a long ago. What we realized long ago is there are going to just be some people that are loud, right? Like, like they'll get in a room, they'll get on Facebook, yeah. they'll be whipping out the, the, you know, the uppercase letters, they'll be pounded on the comments <clears throat> and the loudest person in the room, if you follow that person that, you know, that doesn't mean that's the right way to go. So we put the ideas list up, right? So ideas.gohighlevel.com. So that way our customers can vote. And then that's literally how we do it. The product team goes in there and they look at those and they say, all right, you know, what do people want? Now, sometimes they'll see the, they'll see the ask, but they'll translate it to the, to the actual, like what's the real thing someone's oh, trying to yeah. achieve here and they'll find a slightly different solution that fundamentally is better um yeah. or, or or most of the time quite frankly it's it's an amalgamation it's like oh we'll do some of that and then we'll grab this other thing but all of it is customer driven right like none of my product managers sit around thinking gosh what do i think this customer wants none of us take that position we take the position of like we're here to serve we have an ideas list for a reason. We have a Facebook group for a reason. We're in there, we're blocking, we're tackling, we're talking to people, we're getting on Zoom calls and we're learning, right? Because what we know is, and this is actually our secret sauce, is if you look at every other software platform, it's driven by the opinions of the many, not the few. And the many are like people who, with all due respect, are amazing at what they do, but are garbage when it comes to suggesting software features, right? How does the plumber, the lawyer, the doctor, the dentist, the lawn care guy, how are they f- sort of fit to then be asked like, well, what, what feature or what would you like to change about this feature in the software? 
because inherent in that ask is an assumption that they have the expertise yep. or have just taken the time to learn to have that opinion. So what we get this is our big bonus prize of what we do. We get experts like you to say, no, 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 no. I get that it, over here it's done like that, but that's stupid. You need to do it like this. And they're like, oh, now we see yeah. what we need to be doing. Let's rock that. Uh, and so that's that's what we do. That's how we roll. Um, so, and, and honestly, I love it because um, I'm the, like the 2080 guy. So I always say like 20% of the features carry about 80% of the weight. And I just want to get to those 20 because the other stuff is, ten, it's just, it's, it's fringy at, at best. It's a waste at worst. And now when we do deliver features like, uh, like yesterday, we delivered it. So in the email builder, you can choose, uh, you can always choose a smart list, but now you can say either I want um, the smart list to freeze basically where it is right now. So or right now, new ones that are added or when any, add. any act, but you know, interesting. I said it, the, I said that any additions, but also any deletions, any changes right, yeah. at all, right? Yeah. yeah, I didn't think about that, but a, a, a customer pointed that out and clarified. And in fact, it was deletions there because product team had asked about that. So that is, so when I see that feature, I'm like, really? Is that something that you really need? But then if you look at the comments, people are like, hallelujah, right? Because where did it come from? It came from our customers. Because as you can see, if it was to come to me, I don't even know why, right? So this is why I yeah. love, love, love about what we do. So our customers are driving all of those features. Yeah. No, that's awesome. Well, uh, I think I'm going to end it there. I do need to do oh, the, 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 the thank you so much. Yeah, um, thanks for having me. So this this little session, yeah, you're you're amazing. You should be so proud of yourself. <laughs> I, I, um, I'm, I'm I'm proud of our team. I'm I'm proud yeah. of I'm proud of our customers. I, that's what I'm proud. Of. Yeah, I, I look, I think that um, it's no certainly no question just how engaged in the community you are. I mean, just look at this interaction right now. I mean, this is actually the second time we've spoke because the first experience I had with you, you literally Zoom called me to fix a problem and you went into like the back end of Firebase oh, and yeah. like solved something. I was just like, whoa. So anyway. I that for somebody, yeah. Yeah. I do that, I do that anytime I can. I mean, I, I don't have yeah. as much time. And quite frankly, I, I want to make it very scalable. So I try not to do that <laughs> as much, but I definitely love, I, yeah. st I still love doing it. So I'll do it every yeah. so often. So look, um, just quickly before we end. So yeah. this is the first in a in a series. It's a course that I've created. Oh, it's cool! Dropping now. I'm doing an early bird right now. It's dropping in a week. Um, I'm going to try and take people from literally no knowledge of software as a service. I want to try and come from a, pa a place of experience of software. Yeah. Um, and to try cool. to sort of you know re the, the realities of what it takes to to do the fulfillment and customer success. I see that angle. I think I think you're a really good coach for this because you've got, you have that sort of more traditional background paired up with the marketing background. I think that's a killer combo. I haven't seen that before. Yeah, so, well, let's hope. Um, I do have an extended trial that'll be available. If you're already oh, an existing yeah. customer, you can upgrade on my link and you get a little discount to go to SAS Pro to do all the cool things that Sean's talking about, so. Awesome. Okay, Sean, well, thank you so much. I appreciate yeah, your time. Man. <laughs> and uh you're not getting any hit by the uh the tornado or anything oh no tornado. i'm on the west coast yeah. i'm good it's just it just it fires out here but it's okay it's starting to rain it's starting to get cold so we'll be all right oh you're not in dallas oh no i'm in oregon <laughs> oh okay i always just thought that you put the summit in your own backyard or it's like you know, well that's where robin lives Robin oh, had the okay. interview, right so he's yeah. the guy with the official office and looking yeah. good so he's got the office in dallas so we picked dallas for headquarters right so yeah nice all right. Well, thank you so much. Yeah, man. Thanks uh, for I having hope me. Thanks, everybody. Useful. It was great to be here. The recording's going to go out. There was like 100 people that registered, so we should be good. Sweet. All right. Well, thank you. bye for now, everybody. Thanks, Sean. Bye. Bye.